Welcome, friends. Thai yoga massage for lovers is one of my most favorite applications of Thai massage. Uh, thai massage is unique in that you can wear clothes uh, as the uh, recipient and obviously as the giver too, um, which makes the recipient feel very comfortable and it's still very sensual even in the clothes applications. So the couple things I'm going to show you today are specifically northern style Thai massage. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of a standard Thai warm up. Just bend the knee and press and release, press and release the top of the shin here. Press and release. This is real standard, just Thai massage 101. The reason I'm doing this is because it's going to um, set up the first position I want to show you. This is northern style Thai massage. So it's a little bit, there's two main types of Thai massage if you go to Thailand like I did and train. Southern or northern. Southern is, is really more appropriately called palace style, which is kind of very prim, very proper, very medical. Northern style is uh, a little more body to body contact and for the purpose of what we're doing here, I think a little more useful. So what I'm going to do because of the body to body contact, I just I'm going to lift up here, and I'm going to slide my knee in here. So you see the position I'm in? If I was just to sit sideways, I have this other foot kind of off to the side, and then you just bring the knee out like that. This is the main thing, just get in this position. This is so, so nice. Just this position. If I lean back like this, I have the totality of the side line of my body against her core and against her whole, you know, female organs, but male, female, you know, they'll, they'll feel it. You have this core pressure here on the perineum, on the sacrum. It's just so supportive, just laying in this position. So you can see for lovers why this would be very, very useful. Okay, and then once I'm in this position, and, and the body mechanics aren't the best, so if you're a body worker, you're like, oh, it's hard to do pressure here, you're right. It's about just getting in this position and, and just kind of real feather, feather touch, feather pressure, I'm just going to slowly press up. I'm doing the same lines as, as Thai massage and acupressure. I'm just doing them in this position. So I'm just gently got my thumb on the midline of her calf and my fingers pressing the shin. Okay, and same thing, just compressing the top of the, of the thigh here and the hip. Okay, the whole while though, each time I move, I'm pressing my body into her sacrum. So she's getting that deep, deep connection of my body weight and heat and energy. And this hand is just kind of passive over the back of her core. All right, so this position is so easy. If you just learn this position, my yoga teacher playfully calls this Super Johnny, <laughs> even though it's ancient, ancient Thai stuff from the northern. If you did this in the palace, you'd, you'd be in trouble. But in the northern part of Thailand, they, uh, they let you get away with it. Okay, so just press, release, press, release. And you can also do the same thing on the low back here. You can kind of have a passive hand, this passive hand, now replace this passive hand, and then you go here, and you press up. Real, real easy. And again, my body mechanics aren't great. I can't get a lot of pressure, but the position is incredible. You can slowly go up. You can do the neck. You can get reasonable pressure here. I just kind of hook on either side of her occiput and just lean. Instead of pressing, I just kind of extend and lean. But... Uh, in the name of lover's massage, it doesn't have to be that hard usually. Just a little bit more on the soft side, okay? It's about the connection. You can also do the same thing, shoulders, kind of grip the trapezius, just kind of, you know, compress them. You can go on the spine, kind of look little circles on the spine. People say don't touch the spine directly in massage, but you can, you just have to go gentle. So little circles, the occiput, uh, from the occiput down and the erectors, all of this. But the main thing is this position. Again, if I'm just sitting this way, sideways, and this leg kind of comes out and keeps her leg there, and then you can do all this. Leg, ankles, you can even do the bottom of the feet if you want, play around. And you can do all this sacral work, you know, and you can take off and do your love play from here. But this position, all right? I'll show you on the other side, just so you can see what that looks like. Oh, and of course, how to get out of it. Same way you got into it, just lift up the leg, Slide your body out. Sometimes I'll give them one more stretch just for good measure. This is a real famous Thai massage move by itself. And then out. So the other side, same thing. 
And if they're tight, they might only get this far. That's fine. If she's flexible, you can go down and you can compress the leg. Okay, then you're going to lift it up, slide in this knee right here. Now you can probably see a little bit better my body mechanics, how as soon as I lay, I'm laying across the entirety. I mean, this is up close and personal. That's why it's for lovers. Okay? And you can totally just go sensual. You can just play with the hair, the ears, major, major points. The ears have a direct connection to the kidneys, which of course govern all the sexual energy. You can play with the ears. You can just do like feather touch type of stuff up and down the spine. You can do all the sacral work here, this kind of work on the glutes. You know, if you want to get really deep into the, you know, reflexology for lovers, you've got all this access. I want to keep this YouTube friendly, but you can see from this position so much uh, access can be, can be gained. You know, same thing. Just work on this side, work up this leg. If, if they get really excited, their legs might start flailing all around, you can bring this one up. And now they're locked in place. You can go up, all this kind of thing. Go back. Back down to the sacrum if you want the glutes. You can even get over here on this leg if you want to get fancy. But don't try to go too hard. Again, just be in the position. Okay? That's the main emphasis with this that I'm showing you. And then you just lift up this leg, slide out. One more stretch if you want to add it. Okay, so Super Johnny, <laughs> as we'll call it just for convenience, from face up, has also got a real simple application. What you do for this one is uh, you're going to sit, same thing, kind of facing sideways. So I'm just facing 90 degrees from the recipient. Leg comes out like this. You scoot in and you just place her leg here. So same thing, you, you can lay. And I have full, I mean, the totality of my body weight is on her pubis right here. So I'm just leaning like that. And then from here you have access, you know, heart, throat, all these points. Third eye is a major love point because we're all stuck in our head, we can't appreciate the experience, so when you press that, it kind of helps you get out of your head, major reflex point anyway. Same thing right above the lip is another really good point. If you want to get fancy with the acupressure, you could totally just, you know, kind of petting stuff. So much breast work. If, if you're uh, a woman or if your partner's a woman, do a lot of work on the breast because every month, uh, the energy from the menstrual cycle get stuck up here in the breasts, which is why in the Tao, the number one thing they teach for women's sexual health is massage your breasts uh, outward if you want the breasts to get bigger, or inward if you want them to uh, decrease in size, okay? But make circles on them every day, and then kind of comb the energy down here, because the energy gets stuck up here from the menstrual cycle, because your body thinks you're going to be producing milk in a child, but of course when that doesn't happen, you need to let it come back down here to your, co to your core, and that all, there's a lot of uh, research to suggest that doing this type of breast massage will help will prevent, and, and uh, I don't want to use the C word and, and get sued, but uh, the, the really nasty type of diseases that, that women get a lot and can die from uh, can be helped uh, quite a bit from this. So breast massage, you can do arm massage, all kinds of hands are very essential. The hands are the energetic extensions of the heart. All the heart and fire meridians into the hand. So again, I'm just in this position, I'm just hanging out. Don't put too much pressure on here. If you're doing this on a guy, don't rack them, but this pressure is so supportive. You can reach underneath, so I have one hand on the kidneys right here. And then this other hand, I can compress up the leg, kind of like I did when she was prone or face down, okay? And then I can palm this with a passive hand on the kidneys, okay, which is very sensual. Again, kidneys govern sexual energy. I can palm the inside of the leg. I can palm the, the arm. You actually have a little more access from, from face up or supine, as it's called, uh, as you do with face down. So you can palm all this stuff, pretty much the whole body. I mean, arms, hands, feet, legs, you can do all this. Abdominal, okay, so one of the main points, if I were to impart, you know, one master point for overall energy, but certainly regarding, you know, sexual energy, uh, it's the proverbial dom tian, or as they say in Japan, hara. Um, the region of the navel, basically between the navel and the pubis where you feel the energy the strongest tends to be a little bit higher for women, closer to the navel proper. For men, tends to be two to four fingers breadth below the navel. Just settle into the region just below the navel and just slowly sink your hand. And instantly I can feel her aorta pulse and I'm just going to relax on that. And 
let the pulse open up, let the energy open up, and as per our intention of uh, Thai Massage for Lovers, let the, you know, sexual energy open up also. Okay? Of course you want the bladder to be empty for this one, because it's right on the bladder, but really nice point, and it's so nice in this particular application with my hand on the kidneys. You see I can rock, I'm rocking from the kidneys, and this front hand is just passive. Okay? And then, of course, you have total access. I'm not getting into any of that now, but, of course, if you wanted to get into any direct uh, play on the sexual organs themselves, this position is just money. You're just right here. And if they get really excited and they start, like, you know, moving and all this trance, you know, this position is so helpful. You can put your whole body and kind of lean on them. They can hold you. Or, or if, you, if you want to get into, like, subdom stuff where you want to just totally own their pleasure, that sacred space, you can, you, you know, you can hold them down. And uh, give them a safety word, like my safety word is earth. So if it's like too stimulating, you say earth, and then okay, give, give them a moment. Because when you own someone's pleasure, that, you know, safety words are helpful. And, uh, you know, breath work, even just this, even just in a non-sexual capacity, just pressing these are the origins of the first points of the, the lung meridians, the origins of the lung meridians, just pressing these points like this. So amazing, healing and sensual both. Okay, a lot of points. Tapping the chest, that'll open your immune system, thymus gland, and the heart as well. So there's a lot you can do in this position. The primary thing, I'm introducing this position, Super Johnny, from face up, okay? And uh, one point I do want to mention just real quick before I dismount. The ankle, that's the center of the ankle. You put one finger there, and then three fingers up from that. Roughly there, three fingers. So for her, it would probably be a little bit lower. I'm sensing it, and you'll sense it. That's right about where the triple yin point is. So you can press it with your finger like this, your thumb, I mean, or any fingers. So right there, okay, it's called triple yin. It's where all the three yin meridians in the legs intersect. So press that point for sure. During lovemaking, during foreplay, during all the layers of the sensual experience, press that point. I don't know if you can see it with this angle, but it's just three fingers breath. I just do one, two, three fingers and then I press that point. Sometimes I'll bite it and stuff gently, very, very, very gently, but that point is major, okay? And, and, and if you're pregnant, look at the contraindications for these points, because I think that is one of them that, that's a no-no if you're pregnant, but uh, really good point otherwise for men and women. It's called triple yin, all right? So same thing with the dismount on this one. Sometimes when I dismount on this, I'll make the leg, excuse me, straight, and I'll just compress this, go all the way up, you can hold the foot and tap it if you want. Nice little grounding measure, because this will bring a lot of energy. Most people haven't been touched with this. Okay, and then the other side. Just real quick so you can see that. Lift up this leg. Slide in. And you can see how, as I lay my body, it's like right there. And she'll feel that energy rising. You can take this one under, get the low back. Okay, get all the arms. Any type of breast work you want to do, remember. Going outside in, if you want to decrease the size of the breasts, or inside out, if you want to increase, definitely works. Chest work, neck, abdominal, really good to press the abdominal, especially right around the navel. Okay, sometimes I'll hook left and right underneath the low back and just let my fingers press up on the erectors on the left and the right of her uh, low spine, the lumbar spine. That kind of thing. Sometimes I'll do both of these arms, especially if I really want to like dominate your pleasure. Like you're not going anywhere, right? That kind of thing. And again, in the name of lovers, like if I wanted to get into like kissing stuff, this position is just, I mean, it's just money. It just cannot be underestimated. It's super John. Okay. And then when you're ready to dismount, I usually put like a hand on the heart, just so the recipient knows where I'm coming from. And then from there, slide it down. You can hang out in the sexual region if you really want to get into that, or all the way down to the foot. And then I just do the same thing I did last on the other side. Palm, palm, palm. And I... Super Johnny. Super Johnny from prone, Super Johnny from supine. And uh, it'll bring a whole other element to your, to your love play, and it really should be a play. So I offer you these tools with humility and respect. I've used them for many, many, many years uh, with great results. So practice well and be well, my friends.